Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it is for you. It's the Layback Gamer, and we're back with some more Elder Scrolls Legends. Welcome back. Actually, last time we had managed to complete rank 8. And that was, that was really, really exciting for me. I was so proud of myself. Alright, to kick things off, we're going to play some Econo's Cunning. But first, a little bit of... A little bit of news. It's not bad news. This is actually just a... Maybe... Something else. This is a curiosity thing. So... I've been... I've played this for quite a while, as you guys may have known. And as you also may have seen, I have completed the Dark Brotherhood campaign, the rest of the main campaign. I'm gonna just mulligan the whole hand. So, and then, and I was watching a couple of uh, newer guys play off a stream off of YouTube and watching their videos, and it kind of got me thinking, why don't I do that? Why don't I start a brand new account? I'll record, hear myself playing through the campaign, although I already know what to expect. And then I'll slowly build up my gold count. That kind of sucks. I was kind of hoping for a for an action there, but I'll build up my gold count and then play the Dark Brotherhood. That way, you know that that way I, I can also post that up. It'd be me playing hang with that, and I think it would be pretty fun. I'd most certainly would enjoy it. Oh, Dragon Burial Mount. I think we're going to want to play that this game. I think that's going to be what brings us our victory. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys, would you guys want me to start a new file? Uh, I've been debating it for a while. And I would then put, put the content up. I'm probably going to do it for the first little bit. You know, get the first act of the campaign in up. And then if you guys enjoy that, then I'll do the same thing with the Dark Brotherhood. If you don't, then it'll simply just be some di a little bit of different content. We're not looking so hot right now, but we do have the necessary pieces we need in order to win. A Praetor Commander, even, along with Dragon Mound. Alright, let's see about... Cunning ally. Let's do this. Yeah, I should have figured. All too simple. But we're gonna be playing with Dragon Mount in this game. I think we're gonna require its services to win. Interesting, uh, interestingly enough, our opponent, uh, MUP the Defiant, or actually I'm just calling him Jag the Defiant, hasn't. Oh, that sucks. Hasn't played a dragon yet. Interestingly enough, I, I figured he would have by this point. Oh well, we're gonna go ahead and play with our dragon mound. And the and the reason why I got had the Dark Brotherhood idea was because I was just recently, you know, not but on my own, not on, not on stream, but on my own time, going through the Dark Brotherhood campaign, and I thought it'd be. Yeah, pretty cool to also oh, put that up on here because it was really, really well done. All right, RNG, take the wheel. If he starts playing dragons, however, we are done for. I don't believe we can hold on beyond that point. We didn't get that great of a starting hand. Piercing Javelin would be nice, and I'm saving that for something like an Iron Scale Renegade. I think that's what it's called. It's the 7-7 uh, Endurance Dragon that has uh, regen. That's the dragon I'm thinking of. So, let me know in the comments section if you want me to you know, replay through the Dark Brotherhood. Except on a new account where we can actually collect all the cards. We'll, we'll be collecting the cards. Nice. 
Uh, means I'm not probably not going to play the Praetor Commander. Oh, yep, there's the... I think he might try to... He's trying to take the game right here now. Odaving, nice top deck. Um... Let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to... He doesn't have it out, but at the same time, I can't wait for Odaving to come out. So, huh. We're screwed. <laughs> but we're going to try to hold on. At the very least, we're going to make this interesting. I really think I should have Piercing javelin uh, the 7-7, seven, seven. but I don't really have a choice. I kind of have to play a creature to try and gain some board control back. But if he plays anything stronger, then we're not going to win this. Good news, if it is the Alduin's Apocalypse, that is his only... his only Dragon Priest. And that's not good. Okay, Parthenax. I could use a prophecy, please. Ooh, one dying dragon. Yeah, I really need a prophecy. No, I didn't get it. Oh, swift. My sword is yours. I'm still not gonna win. Time to take the offensive. Uh, I had a poor hand that game. That also would have helped. That was not a good hand. Granted, I probably should have used the Piercing Javelin, but I figured maybe I could get a creature up. Oh yeah, and I ended... Oh god. <laughs> Back in my familiar spot, Serpent's Rank. Um, so, while playing on the Master of the Dark Brotherhood, I did get a few points towards Prevent Creatures with Wards on the... Um, I forget the opponent, but it's basically an encounter where you face where it's you get three supports to start off with, and you play your deck. The way I beat it was I used a support destroyer, so I put I went spell sword, which this deck here, and basically it was the bane of his supports. It was funny because the first time I tried it, I had drawn all three. He support her three support destroyers, and I still ended up losing that game. That kind of sucked. But then the next game, I only drew one of them, and actually, I didn't. Even, I didn't draw any of them. No, I did. I did. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't draw any of them, and I was somehow able to make it out on top, mainly because. I also had played Hisgrove, and instead of destroying, he destroyed my uh, Mundus Stone, which gave my creatures keywords, and he destroyed that. Uh, there's also the Spawning Pool, which summons a 1-1 Mud Crab, and the uh, Shatty Town Defenses, which gives your creatures plus one, plus one. And instead of destroying one of those, he went after the Hisgrove, which already get, which gives you the mat. Magic of Crystal, and that's it. I'm gonna queue into another game while I talk. And it would only have triggered on turn 15, so the AI kind of screwed up there, and it was because of that screw up that allowed me to win the game. I also ran East Empire Crafter and just played a bunch of guards. I was very careful to dispatch any lethal creatures he had. And that was how I beat the the, ma the master version of that, which I believe is the, in my opinion, it's the second hardest in that particular section. The hardest would definitely be the final one where you have to beat your opponent in a time limit before he escapes. And the first time around, I lost many, many times to that. And then, second time, well, 
the fight, the time that I did win, I barely won. I, it was basically all he had to do was just have me hit the end turn button and he won. And I was able to draw my a battle mace, which gives me gave me plus four plus plus one ward. Um. Play that. And I was barely able to win that. And now we're on the master diff, master version. I don't know how I'm going to fare. So I'm doing that in my spare time because, well, I love this game a lot. That's just going to pop the war that didn't actually do anything for you. The Nords must take back. Oh, a battalion. We're going to want to definitely try to build up our board a little more before we go ahead and pop that first room. Uh, well, we can use that next turn. And now we're just going to wait. We're going to wait to get a couple more beast form creatures or a couple of werewolves. Ideally, we get the Skyforge soon. But I don't believe that's going to happen. What I do think he's going to do, he's going to play that curse and then finish off on our battalion. And if he does, or a leaf lurker. Yep, there we go. Can I get a charge? Nope, I did get a predator though. Let's see your fighting stance. Dragon Priest Mask. That's the last gasp. Uh, summon ability. I don't have any creatures that have a summon ability. What have we here? Dumont, thank you! Okay, with that, uh, Night Predator, come out. Ideally, he doesn't get rid of it. And if he can't, well, we're in business then. And next time we're going to, turn 8 is when we're going to break his runes. And I'm hoping that the Predator can live. And ideally, we get Circle Initiate it in our hand so we can play it with alongside one of our right white run white run protectors. Alright, what's your move here, buddy? Oh I can't actually attack. Oh, never mind, I can. I don't think regenerate will fix that. No, regen does not. The city is safe in my hands. Yeah, we gotta prop that. I need the guard. Ideally, I would have saved it for when we got the other White Run Protector and the Grim Shield Brother out, but I need that guard. I am hoping he doesn't have a second curse or a drain vitality in, in that hand of his. Or another finish off. Ideally, he trades his creatures and he trades his creatures. That's just, that's it. Actually, ideally, our guy stays alive so we can trigger hit so we can trigger the other two sitting in our hand. I think he's trying to decide if he can get rid trying to figure out if he can get rid of it. Alternatively, he might be trying to figure out does he have another one? Does he have more in hand? Oh no! Oh now we're on a time limit! That doesn't work that way. Damn it. 
I will have to play Crushing Blow. Damn it! It's three of our guys dead. You gotta be careful. Get him a little closer. It's gonna get us a little closer. But I need those werewolves. I, I, I'm panicking a little bit here. Because the Night Mother's out and we're on a timer. Not to mention, we're right now, we're, we're below that health line. However. <laughs> Excuse me. However, our saving grace could be we kill him fast enough. Or our Grimshield brother happens to happens to drain enough health that we can get across that twenty mark. Interesting, interesting play. I'm going to be breaking one of your runes regardless, and it is going to give me more werewolves. So you may as well just accept that fate. That's nasty. Oh, I needed that off a of prophecy. Hmm. I think we just have to go for it, to be honest. If we die, we die together. Are ready to join the circle? Tell the sky. Uh oh. Please, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm okay with that. Fighter's Guild Recruit perhaps is the least scariest thing he could play. We do have a Dragon Priest Mask and a White Run Protector. I want to get a summon ability to trigger it with, though. Uh... I just don't think we're going to win this. Oh, duel atop the world. Uh. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're just not going to win this. strike I take that back I think I have a small chance of winning this the city is safe in my hands no one safe we must be cleansed I have a small chance of winning but it's going to involve our our 66 six not dying or hmm Actually, it's going to involve our two. It's going to involve these two guys not dying. If they can both successfully remain alive, we got. We can win. That's okay. As long as he doesn't have another archer's gambit, that's fine too. Just I can't lose those guys. Cheat will find a way in. I won! I won! Oh, I really won. I think I won. Yeah, I won. Can you spot the lethal? Can you spot the lethal, guys? Play that. Battles the mo most powerful creature. I don't believe that means it kills. Um, 
Well, that'd be an interesting experiment to try one time, but... Yep. And... GG, without having to break another rune and risk losing. Aw, oh, that's cute. I'll be honest, I got a little nervous there because when I saw battles, I thought that it might have used its attack move to kill it. Because I have not played... I can't remember playing around with Duel Atop the World. And I think every time my opponent has, it's killed his creature off. So, well done to my opponent. He did a very good job. I just happened to have slightly pulled it out, pulled out of that. All right, we'll give Atromancer a little bit of a turn. Even though we got, that, it's my favorite deck. I love playing with Atronox, and I hope that we get more Atronox introduced to the game, or more cards that summons Atronox. All right, show me a couple of Wind Atronox, maybe a Water and Earth Atronox. There's a mod in Sky Arim that allows you to play with Earth water and wind and I think that would be really cool if they also introduced those two strains of Atronox into this game because they, they have lava Atronox and there are wind Atronox in the Elder Scrolls on online so we know those exist I draw power from these trees <laughs> well that's a funny that's a funny name for my opponents the Pizza Potamus, the pastry chef. Some people's names just. I, ne I don't understand some people's names, and other people I'm like, you know what? You do you, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, I can crush and blow that. Um, I'd rather lock it down. I'm very happy I got that silence because I'm pretty sure he may have had two a day, two a, two more attacks sitting in his hand. No curse or sudden zero mana guard. Nope. Like both high rocks, two high rock summoners. Perfect. My friend would like to say hello. Like to say hello. All right, we got a storm atronach from that. Double Storm Atronax. Well, I can't argue with that. I I, I, I like that. Good job, go, good job, ladies. Thank you for both of those Storm Atronax. But you know what I think would be pretty cool is if they could, if they also had a chance to. Bring out a flesh atronach or an iron atronach, even a lava. Like if they, like if we get down the road, and we have some more atronachs introduced, I would like that. I think that'd be pretty dope. Speaking of dope, here's Cicero. Should have attacked first. I'm probably going to start killing off my own High Rock Summoners to get some more cards, though. He's got a pretty good hand build-up, and that's going to give me a good build-up of cards, too. Never mind. Can Cicero attack? No, he, just, he can just attack friendly creatures. Never mind. So I'll be using Cicero to then just there clean up the board. Oh, there goes my uh, Hist. Uh, oh god, I can't. Hist speaker. Okay, that kind of sucks that Cicero wasn't able to get off to have his slay ability trigger, but he did have night. He did have high health, and he killed a creature. 
So, I'm okay with that. Oh wait, wait, he stole that? I don't, I don't believe he stole that. Well, good news. I got the perfect... Oh, wait, I can't actually kill both of them. Whoops. I forgot the caravan and Enforcer also got plus one, plus one when he's moved. Oops, forgot about that. I thought I had the perfect board clear in hand, but I don't, because that only does two. Come on, pizza, the pastry chef. Let's hurry up. Oh, you're joking. You've got to be kidding me. Now we'll kill it. I hope he did play a cur... He, he drew a curse and he's going to play that right away. Oh, he got it first try, damn it. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be playing you much this game. I don't want to panic my opponent into trying to beat me quickly. Or, huh, maybe I should. Nah. He's got enough cards in hand. We're going to let him build up. So he knows I got two cards that are Atronox and the other two are unknown to him. However, I haven't played any yet, so that might indicate that they're that maybe I got two flame Atronox. I don't know what this guy's try his endgame move is. Now there's a card. All right, come on, bro. Let me let me have this. Let me have this. He probably drew a curse and has a finish off in hand or a leaf lurker, so our guy isn't gonna survive. But on the plus side, if he does, we play the storm atronach, and even if he doesn't, we get another storm atronach. We get we get a storm atronach out of this. Gotcha. Black Marsh Warden. My scales move in shadow. Oh boy. Oh, that's dance. Maybe he's trying to draw it. If he doesn't. Oh my god, he's oh, got that was a mistake. How is it a mistake? Doesn't matter. Here comes the fun. Victory is yours. What? What? No, no, pizza. I... Pizza, my friend. I don't agree with that move. I mean, yeah, ha two storm astronauts is pretty deadly, but. You, you had a lead there. I mean, I don't know what was in your hand, but you had a lead there. I was basically down to nothing. I did not agree with Pizza's move. But we won. So, not going to say too much more on that. Bruma armor and 15 gold. Pretty nice. And what? Well, Arcano's cunning deck needs some redemption. 
So we're going to try to redeem it. Hopefully our opponent this time isn't going to just rage quit out of not killing off one creature. I mean, yeah, it, it was looking bad for him, but he had a lot of cards in hand. I'm sure he had a way to deal with at least one of the Storm Atronachs on his turn. Uh, we'll keep that hand. But... Guys, if you do find yourself in a situation like that, don't immediately rage quit. I mean, he had 20, he had more health than me. He had more cards in his hand than I did. And yes, I was clearing his, I was going to clear his board off. But, I mean, I, I just didn't agree with his move. All can be had for the right price. Yeah, you can. There's a play. You can take those two cards. I'm gonna get something else set up. Is someone out there? This one will get what is needed. Something tells me I'm about to die. I have a very strange suspicion that I'm going to die in a minute. Let's do this. Really? I don't think, no, I didn't see a dragon in hand, but I think he's got, um, Call of Valor. Two of them, probably. If he, if, if he actually upgraded the card, I couldn't tell if he did. Look to the skies. Illusionist. Shackle you. I have you. You won't foil. And nah, I'm not gonna burn a, a point. Ouch. Big Disappear Act. I should just call this deck the Magic Show. Look at my hand, eat. Well, I also don't think we're going to win against Imperial Shang, the Dragonborn. But maybe he might rage quit again. Maybe he might rage quit. There goes my... Yeah. Yeah, we're not winning this one. As sad as that is. They underestimate us. Damn it. I have you now. Trust my luck, it's not gonna trigger. Let's shift. Oh never mind. It's so bad. I mean, the only thing that could save me here is if I get a Kano off the top and he doesn't remove it. That's the only way I... This just isn't going to go well. Look to the skies. Yeah. Those heels, it's not going to go well. Observe. I... Also, oh, that makes me, I believe he's going to be running Power of Max. Nice. Um, can get rid of that. Good news is I think he's, he might be out of dragons. It's a javelin. I have you now.
I'm taking a risk with that. Let's do this. Damn it. I was hoping to get a fireball off of that. We're not winning this. I don't have any faith, I'll be honest. If anything, we're just gonna crash and burn in a turn. Yeah. Just like I thought. And then there's the third, the second one. Yeah. Okay, so this deck is will not be redeemed. And is not gonna be redeemed at all today. Because I'm not gonna play with it again. Sad because I worked, it worked a little hard for it to get out of that, to get there. Even though, you know what? Never mind. All right, I'm gonna Let's play the armies of Skyrim, and we're gonna end the. This is gonna be the finisher of the day. A few matches. I think we're now. We're even, so we, so yeah, we're we're exactly even. We've won two, we've lost two. It's gonna determine whether today was a D, was an okay day or a not so good day. Cyrus Tear, the listener, I thought. Yep, that is the listener. Which means obviously he's completed the Dark Brotherhood. Yeah, we'll get rid of him. I want to save one of those uh, Stormcloak Vanguards for Crusader's Assault. I would love to get a couple of a couple of cards. I'll let nothing get by. Or we have the Assault to Stalwart. I don't. I I would like to get two cards off of Crusader's Assault. Okay, now if we can keep them on that low health for a few turns, then we can play Triumphant Jarl! Yay! <laughs> Fat chance. Fat chance. Could happen. I would like it if you played a creature with two health or less in the left lane so I can trigger my Crusader's Assault, please. The forest will not suffer your presence. Well, I did ask for that. I suppose I did ask for that. I don't know how this game's gonna turn out. If we can get our triumphant Jarl, I think we're good. And I like seeing that. Now, oh, where is he gonna go? That's not where I wanted you to go. Imperial Reinforcements, Gold Saint. Ideally, we get the other Triumphant Jarl out as well and trigger his effect. I don't mind I ain't holding on to that Golden Saint for a little later. If he would trade, that'd be great. Otherwise, this is just going to be a face fest. Then I'll play the Golden Saint. And finish off. Calling it right now. Finish off for Leaf Lurker. Off the top. 
Although, I'm fairly certain he had one in hand. The hunt is on! My scales move in shadow. The forest is ours! Mighty ally. The day is mine! Legion Prefect. Um, this might come down to a race. That was not a card I wanted to see. And, I don't know. I'm not sure how this would turn out. Get Skyford and Crusader's Assault. That'll get us plus three. Uh, but that's not enough. We gotta beat him down a little more. I'm hoping he doesn't have another finish off in hand. Or fairly certain he does. What's your move here? Tell me at least. This one offers something tasty. Well, I'm gonna hold on to one side of the board. The forest is ours. The day is mine. I will end you. And the giant is what we'll need here. Ride them down. I might be able to win. Though, come to think, I may have been better off playing Imperial Reinforcements, setting myself up for net for a, a Legionnaire Prefect. I don't know. But I'm not sure at this point, because I'm, I'm fairly certain I am going to lose. As, well, we both have a very sizable hand. But... You know, I think he has Unrelenting Force in his hand, but he hasn't been able to play it. Or has he been willing? Nor has he been willing to play it. Knight of the Hour. Let none defile our temple. Well, now he's got a target for it. Oh, he doesn't have the mana. Wait a minute. I just won! I won! And unless he's got finish off. In which case, I don't win. I, I win if he hit, doesn't play finish off. No! That's not what I wanted! No! I had that. I still don't have it. I never got Okay, he's got one turn. One turn to win. And he has to go for a complete board clear. Or he loses. God. He's drained vitality. He's got enough to kill the dragon now. Or the giant, not the dragon. I will end you. You robbed, you have robbed me of my win, Cyrus Tear. But it's okay, I will get it. Ah, crap. Um, looks like we're going. He doesn't have to play the battle card. But I don't I don't think that was a good idea on his part. What's my best move here? 
I think this is my best move. Training is over. It's time to act. Because the set, the last drain vitality isn't going to win him. If he wants to break one of my runes, I could hope for. Uh, What's one card I could really hope for? Uh, Night of the Hour. What have we here? He needs that other, that final drain vitality. If I fall. Does he got it? Of course, I could draw my last Stormcloak Oak Vanguard and pull off victory from there. I, I didn't think of that. I could pull that too. You're a dangerous sword. I like it. What? I won? Oh. Oh. Alright, what am I burning? Rough tier. That's okay. You can't <sighs> Close one there, guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoy. 